In this video, we'll design our sidebar. So bear with me for next few minutes to understand how to design your sidebar perfectly. And uh, if you think the video is going to be valuable for you, do like the video in advance and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. So without any more delay, let's get started. First of all, I would like you to have a look at how my sidebar is looking now. So get back to the blog section of our website. As you can see here, we have cleaned up our sidebar by deleting some of the unnecessary widgets that we did in the last video where I talked in detail about how to use widgets and what is the purpose of using widgets. So if you have directly come across this video, I would suggest you to watch the last video to understand it better. So here I am going to design the sidebar in a way that it suits my website perfectly. In case you have a different design in your mind, what you have to do is to understand the process clearly so that you can design the way you want it to be. So let's get back to the backend of our website. Click on appearance and then click on widgets. Here we'll be editing our default sidebar, the right sidebar. As you can see here, there are a lot of options of available widgets for you. Out of this, you can choose any based on what you need. Now one thing I want to tell you that if you would have installed any other theme than Ocean WP, then the available options on your screen might not be same as mine. So if any widget is missing and you need that badly, so in that case you can install plugins and about plugins we'll talk in detail later on in this course. Now before I start designing my sidebar, I would like to delete some of the already available widgets. What I want now is to delete this social save widget. For that, come down and then click on delete option. And this particular widget has been deleted from our default sidebar. Now since I am the owner of this website, so I want a bit of information about me to appear on the right sidebar. For that, I'll use about me widget. To use that, click on it and drag it to the right. Now here you can change the title. Also you can upload an image. Of course that image is gonna be mine because here I am gonna discuss about me only. So I'll upload an image now. Upload files, select files and this is the image that I want to upload. So click on open and then click on insert into post. Now you can edit the name. The name is obviously going to be Divyansu Decodes. And here you can add the description. The description could be something like uh, Divyansu Decodes, your most trusted destination for everything related to skills enhancement and online earning. So this could be my description. You can add any description based on what your website is all about. And then there are some more options that I'm going to talk about in detail in next few minutes. But before that, save this particular sidebar and let's see how it looks. Now get back to our website, refresh the page. As you can see here, this is how our sidebar is looking. Like here is my image, then the name of the brand, then there are some informations related to the brand, but there are something more to edit in this particular visit even. Like I don't want this particular thing about me because it's already understood that it's about the owner of the website. So I don't want the title to appear over here. So for that, come to the backend again and delete the title. I don't want anything. You have some more options like you can add your social media account links. So I'm going to add my Facebook account link. Also Instagram link. And then click on save to see how it looks. As you can see here after coming to the website, one thing that the title has disappeared and plus there are some social media account links. If you click on this particular account, it will redirect to my social media pages. As you can see here, by clicking on there, I am at my own Instagram page. Now some more options I want to explain to you people, like uh, the one option that is appearing over here, that is blank and self, social link target. So what does this mean? Like if it is blank, that means if you'll click on this particular option, that will redirect to my Instagram page on the other page. 
but if you choose the option self that means what will happen is that if you will click on this particular option it's gonna change our website into Instagram page so I'll leave it to the blank because I want my social media pages to open in the new tab okay also you can add here your LinkedIn profile link Pinterest Twitter YouTube and all so coming back to our website and looking at our sidebar I think this one is the ideal one because here the first one is about me and that's explaining all about the owner of the website there are some social media links on which uh, the user can visit then there is search visit from where user can search for any post that they want to read and then the other visit is recent post where all the latest post will be showing on and then categories like uh, user can navigate to the various categories available on the website so I think this sidebar is enough and the ideal one if you think there could be better design than this you could visit to some of the popular websites and you can see they all have similar kind of design now still if you want something more there are a bunch of different options that you can use depending upon what you need you can choose all you have to do is to click on that option and then drag and drop the best part is that you can get the option to customize that also so the purpose of using sidebar is that you provide users the option to navigate to various resources available on your website also you can use this for advertising some other product of yours like you would have seen this on some of the popular websites there are some advertisements showing on the right sidebar and I think you can look at some of the popular websites and have an idea which design would suit your website and then using various options available here you can design that way also so that's it guys for this video I hope you got enough ideas on how to design and edit your sidebar still any question popping into your head comment down I'll be there and if the video was valuable for you don't forget to hit the like button also subscribe to the channel if you're new here share the videos to those who need the most and I'll see you in the next video for sure till then take care of yourself be happy be positive